Hey the Wootsuit family, it's Ryan here. One of the things that I volunteer for is an ethics board and while we have an educational component and an advocacy component, the main thing that we do is review applications of research projects in order to ensure that they abide by the ethical codes that govern research, at least in Canada. I've been volunteering with the ethics board for four or five years now and I've reviewed my fair share of applications. And as with anything that you do a lot, repeated, or anything that you start to get a lot of knowledge in, it can become really easy for you to take shortcuts and make assumptions. And it's really easy to miss the things because you assume that, you know, any ambiguities or any missing contexts are going to be sorted out in the appropriate way. I want to share a little trick with you that we use on the ethics board in order to help us avoid making those assumptions and take on the position or take on a kind of epistemic position of someone else. So this is what we do. The first thing in the application review process is you get the completed package, which will include at the very least the application, usually your consent forms, your research tools, any kind of recruitment material, and you get that all in one bundle. I start with the recruitment material and I work my way through what the researcher is explaining to the participant as if I know absolutely nothing because, well in this case, I actually don't know anything about the project. So I look at the recruitment material. How do you contact your participants? What kind of posters do you put up? What kind of email blasts do you send out? What kind of social media messages are you putting out there? What are you telling the research participants about your project and how are you drawing them in so that they can take part in your study? And then from there, I go to the informed consent letter and I see how do you explain the study to the participants? And I make note of what my understanding of this process is or what my understanding of how you're explaining it to me because I will compare my impressions from the informed consent letter to how you explain it to me as a professional in the application. And if there's a misalignment there, it's really important to clarify what's critically important for you to explain to your participant and what is it merely that it's just a part of the research apparatus that you don't need to go into a huge amount of depth and clarity into for your participants to be able to consent to the process. And then after I go through the informed consent letter, I'll go through the survey, I'll read through all the questions, and then, and only then, do I go back to the application and see how does the researcher explain it to me as an ethics board member. If there are any differences in the understanding between how I took it to be as a research participant and how I took it to be as a ethics board member, then those are the questions that I really focus in on. And when I give my feedback to the researchers in terms of things that I want to know a little bit more information about, most often those questions and comments comes from those gaps in my understanding. It's a really useful trick and it's really easy because I'm not actually having to do a lot of really intense work. All I'm doing is leveraging my own ignorance to be like, okay, well, if I know nothing about this project and I want to really understand it from the perspective of the participant, then it's important for me to try to engage with the material as if I'm a participant, put myself in their epistemic position or in layman's terms, put myself in their shoes to the best that I can and see if any of this makes sense. And then I leverage my experience as an ethics board member to really think through the ethical problems, if there are any, and how do I propose solutions. Anyways, thanks for stopping by and letting me share a little bit of my volunteer experience with you. If you have any comments or if you have any questions about the process down below, certainly let me know in the comments and I look forward to reading from you. Anyways, thanks for stopping by and don't forget, stay awesome.